I can obviously take care of food. He's not going to go hungry. Will you please just take this from me? No. Reese. Last time I was here, you said you don't like me coming in the house. You know I didn't mean that. If you get to have him on his birthday, you're gonna give him cheesy shells. He's growing up. He doesn't give a shit about cheesy shells. All you have to do is heat it up. Oh, do you think I'm domesticated enough to do that? Domestic enough. You always have to correct me, don't you? Animals are domesticated, humans are domestic. Or they aren't. Well, in that case, I use the right word then, right? Because that's what you always wanted in a partner, a pet, a fucking handbag. Why are you giving me shit? I don't know. <sighs> Jason's away. Oh, so that I get to be the one to feed your bottomless appetite for arguing bullshit. Can we ever have a conversation without you accusing me of arguing? You may not get this, but I don't want to fight. Even when I think of something I want to bring up, I say to myself, no, Donna, it's not worth an argument. Table that. Table what? I'm not some evil person you can't talk to. Fine. The jeans. What jeans? The two pairs of jeans. I can never finish these. The $300 jeans you got for him. He asked for them. Do you want a sip? No. What kind of message do you think that sends? He needed jeans. Not for $300. Well, it's not your money, so... What do you care? He's 10 years old. Yeah, and he'll be 11 in two days. You buy him $300 jeans when he's 10, what do you think he's gonna want when he's 16? Uh, well, I'm sure by then he'll be over material possessions and be, you know, enlightened, like his mother. And then what do you think he's gonna want when he's 35? You're putting him on a treadmill of always wanting more and more shit. He's never gonna be happy. He's gonna be like you. Sorry. I didn't mean that. No, you're right. I'm, I'm not happy. I've never, I've never been happy. That's not true. You've been happy. Have I, though? Of course. I've seen you happy. When? I don't know. Donna, when? I don't want to think about this. Donna, please. When we had Sam. Well, I mean, that was motherhood. That was instinct. I'm talking about normal life. I can't be the woman whose only happiness comes from her child. That can't be me. It's not fair to Sam. That is me, though, isn't it? No. No. You're right. I'm, I'm not happy. And what's sad is I don't think, I don't think I'll ever be. The first time I spent the night. The next morning, it was one of those false spring days. It was 70 degrees in February in New York. And you were bouncing around the apartment, ready to get out and do the day. And I remember thinking, she looks happy. You're right. I was happy. You made me happy. In the oven, 350, 20 minutes. You don't have to go. I do. drop of poison nobody knows they're lining up to go insane I'm all alone I smoke my friends down to the filter but I feel much cleaner after it rains 